I have five very old processors. For a PC that is already 19 years old, processors range from the weakest one core to the most powerful, which at the time of release cost 1,200 bucks. And today we will find out which of these old processors in stock or overclocking will be able to pull Java Minecraft at maximum graphic settings. And at the end, we will find out whether the processor will burn if you put it in the socket with the wrong side and turn on the PC. And so, the platform on which I will run all this was released 19 years ago. Intel released 775 sockets in 2004, and this platform officially supports 176 processors, unofficially, if we take into account the server variants that were installed in 771 sockets, probably even more. Let me now show you our first patient. This is the legendary Pentium 4, 520th, which came out 19 years ago, and which was one of the first processors to be installed in this socket. It has one core and two threads, a frequency of up to 2.8 GHz, a 90 nanometer technical process and instructions, the number of which can be counted on the fingers of one foot. Didn't you think that I would test these processors on this ugly PC? Don't drive the devil, my nerves wouldn't be able to stand it. It supports only 2 GB of memory. And I also said that I was going to overclock something there. Well, I will run the processors on one of the coolest overclocking motherboards on the 775 socket. Although it is not from 2004, it supports all processors that were connected to this socket. Plus, 16 phases of power per processor that this board has will help us in stable overclocking of our Pokemon. I will not install a very powerful video card. Minecraft is a processor-dependent game, so we will not need a powerful video card. GTX 280 will be quite enough. Although the memory is overclocked with a volume of 8 gigabytes, four charged irons of 2 gigabytes each of the DDR2 standard, but I will not use such a volume right away. Let's now collect this dinosaur into a pile. I will use an SSD in the driver because it is faster to install the system. It will not affect the performance of the game in any way because the game takes something like 700 megabytes of memory, and so the computer is assembled. The system was installed with Windows 7 32-bit because our processor does not understand 64 bits, and you can see the performance of our single-core monster in CPU-Z. As many as 56 points in multi-threading. It's just incredible. I've always dreamed of such power. By the way, the processor eats only 60 watts. I don't even load it with anything because it's always loaded at 100%. As for surfing the internet, you need to be very patient here to wait for the page to load. The video works at a maximum of 480p, you can only dream about 720. Now, Minecraft, the very first version, minimum graphic settings, and at first glance, not bad, not bad, until we get into the forest, then the frame time jumps like crazy. Now I do everything on Ultra, and it becomes very difficult to play. We have 18, 20 stable frames with an unstable frame time. If we make the range of drawing to a minimum, it becomes a little easier, but beyond the nose, nothing is visible. Now, the overclocked version of this processor, I managed to increase the frequency of the processor to only 770 megahertz. All settings are at minimum, drawing range is at maximum. From 30 to 20 frames with a crooked frame time, now I put everything on ultra, and it seems that it has become even worse. Very strange. Now. Let's look at the next patient. This is a brand new Intel Celeron E1200, without mileage in Ukraine right from 2008. We are now running it in. This Pokemon already has two more instructions and one more core, but no hyper trading. The technological process is already 65 nanometers. Its weak points are the frequency of 1.6 gigahertz and the cache of only 512 kilobytes. By the way, it gives two times more points than the Pentium, both in the multi-core and, by the way, which is strange in the single core test, let me remind you that its frequency is 1.6 GHz and in Pentium 2.8. Minecraft is all on ultras, and you know, it's already a little better than on Pentium 4 by about 2 frames on minimal graphics. It looks like it's already 50% better than Pentium. On minimal devices with a maximum range, you can even play. Although, no, when there is a fight for life, everything is not so clear. Let's now accelerate our Celeron properly. By the way, it accelerates very well. I'm really surprised. The frequency was raised almost two times. You think about it, it gives two times more points after overclocking. I really did not expect such a result. Modern processors cannot even dream of such a thing. The maximum that can be obtained on the 1360th Intel is 15%. The frequency has increased from 1600 to 2900 megahertz. I already want to see what it will give us. Minecraft, everything is on minimum settings, the drawing range is maximum, 120 FPS, this is actually almost two times more than before overclocking. 
If you set everything to the minimum, it will be under 250 frames. This is also almost two times more. Now there are no failures at all, that's all on ultras of course, it is still difficult for this computer. Although, if you wait until everything is loaded, you will see there are already 42 frames. The frame time is of course throttling, but it is still almost two times faster than before overclocking. The next processor should be this Xeon, which, although it is older than Celeron by as much as two years and was invented in 2006, but had as much as four megabytes of cache behind the cheek, and was slightly more powerful than Celeron in overclocking, but not powerful enough to show it to you. So, the next instance of Intel Core 2 Duo E7500 is the youngest of all the processors here, the year 2009, and it was then a normal game processor, 45 nanometers technological process. I will already show this Pokemon is in a state of overdrive. And he took 4 GHz on two cores. He gives us as many as 300 points in multi-core and 150 in single-core mode. And this is 6 times more than Pentium. Although in Minecraft and Ultras it gives almost the same 42 frames as Celeron and overclocking. Although you can already see absolute minimums under 600 frames. On minimums. Plus, the drawing range is at most 30-40% to 40 better than Celeron. Now, let me show you the real beast. It is Xeon X5482, released in 2007. Costs 10 times more than the previous Core 2 Duo. Already has 4 cores and as much as 12 megabytes of cache memory. This is more than all previous processors combined. I will already test it on 64-bit Windows with 8 gigabytes of memory. On minimum settings in Minecraft of the very first version, we have 500 to 600 frames. On minimum settings, with full draw range, we have 70 to 80 frames, which is not very good at all on ultras. Well, you see for yourself. The impression is that the game is generally more than two, does not use processor cores. Now, the newest version of Minecraft, these are the settings. Here, you can already see that the processor works for all the money. Now, here are the settings. Well, we have 150 frames, which is not bad. The processor is already feeling very bad. I set the render distance of the pieces to 32. There are 50 to 70 frames. It can be seen that this Minecraft is already more optimized than the first versions. It's ready to play, but the freezes will never leave you. Here's a comparison of all processors on all graphics settings in Minecraft. The very first version apparently used only two processor cores, so the four-core friend did not work normally in it, in the Bedrock version. I think the situation will be better, but Windows 7 does not support the Bedrock version of Minecraft, and if you install Windows 10, it'll be difficult for this four-core processor to run such a system. Now, let's see what will happen if the processor is not installed as it should be. For this, I will take the same Pentium, which has been retired for 15 years. It's already served its life, so it's not a pity, someone will ask. But how are you going to put the processor and the socket on the wrong side? If there are keys on the socket and on the processor, and it is not possible to install it incorrectly. I simply sawed off the keys on the socket, and now the processor can be placed at least sideways. Put the processor in the socket, the cooler on top, run back a little and press the detonator, and nothing happens. That's obvious. We definitely wouldn't see the picture on the monitor. But is our processor alive? Let's check. Put it on the right side. Run away and press the detonator. And I did not expect this, but absolutely nothing happened to the processor and the CPU started as before. The verdict of this video is this. It will not be possible to build an ultra-budget computer to play Minecraft because when the FPS is high, it's difficult to get used to the freezes. It is a processor-dependent game. Just look at how Minecraft lets an 18-core, 36-thread processor light up. All cores and threads are involved. I thought that the situation was better on more modern processors, but it is 10 to 15 frames better than here. Subscribe to the channel. See you soon.